So what happens in a web architecture? So this is your computer and this is a web server. Okay, this is a server, not com uh, web server, I say. So uh, this is your browser, let's say. And this is a server. All right. So this is your remote remote client. I've already explained this uh, while I was talking I was talking about HTML. So guys who are here for the first time, uh, if you don't know about web architecture, just concentrate on this. Pretty simple. So as soon as somebody enters a URL, okay, what it does is it it checks for. So all we do is like say www.tutorslive.com. That's what we, we type in, right? But they say matching actually a mapping. So the mapping has mapping is something like this, okay? There is a name. Uh, let's say this is DNS domain name server. Okay, so uh, domain name is what It is mapped against an IP address. So IP address, it's an address. Okay, just assume that it's an address. So suppose if I if I if I throw a letter to you guys, let's say Taufik is somewhere else. So I I address a letter to Taufik. So what does it have? What what happens first? Okay, it, it travels from one point to the other point until it finally reaches to the topic. Okay, that's what it happened. So what happens is when I type a domain name, it goes to DNS server. So DNS server maps the domain name with IP address and it it knows okay this particular file is in this server. Okay, we are not talking about network network architecture here, so I'm just given an over, overview of everything. So it goes to DNS server, DNS server says, okay, this domain name, this server. So it goes there. So this is called, typically this is called a request actually. So a request is made from the browser. I don't know if I can rotate this. So yeah, assume that it's, it's that. So a request is made from the browser, okay, then it says, okay, the files are here. Now this is a system actually. So inside the server, okay, it has a web server. So web server is typically that, is, that server is, is the total bridge actually. It's a bridge between everything. So when I say everything, I'll talk about. So what it has, it has a web server. So web server, what it does, it takes a request. It takes a request, let's say Apache. Okay, this web server is Apache, Tomcat, IIS okay these are web servers <coughs> so what I do is like I'll just so a web server typically what it does is okay uh, request has come now it has to just route it like you see uh, where where the file exactly is Okay, if somebody clicks on something, where should it go? So that that is taken care by the web server. So web server is typically something it's a it's a bridge between the files and the request made. So it tells where to go. Now as soon as somebody hits a URL, where should it go? That's what a web server does. So now web server gets a request. Now it looks for the particular folder where this particular domain is mapped. So uh, suppose if it's a shared server there will be so many files residing on the shared server. So there'll be so many files like such. So every box is a file here, let folder, let's assume. Like such, I mean, the only tutors live has three folders. So I'm just randomly doing it. Uh, I don't have time for perfecting them. So these are all fi files here. So file. or let's say four folders. So then the web server tells, okay, uh, go to this folder. If I, if I request for an image, okay, it goes to image folder. If I request for a CSS file, it goes to the CSS file. If I request for a script file, it goes to script files. If something else, like, you know, it it trans, it, you know, just navigates to the folders. That's what a web, web server says. Okay, just go through these folders. Now, there are two types of content on the web server, in the files, in the folders. One is, our front-end files .html, .css, .js, <coughs> image files, okay, font files, okay, and flash, and 
etc like whatever which are readily accessible by the browser and then there are php file okay now we talk about only php because we are dealing with php so these files here are all front end files and this particular file is a back end file when i say back end it's a server file so if for instance i request for a dot html file let's assume so i requested for a first case i request for a dot html file then it is it looks for the dot html file in the in in the folders so where exactly is this dot html file so it it will it looks for it it finds it and sends immediately so what it does it sends immediately all right so whenever this finds the html file the plain dot html file if you, if i am requesting for a plain dot html file yeah it, it straight away takes the file okay since the browser can understand it so it just throws a response with html file so since the browser can only understand our html so if it's only a plain html then it throws back browser understands it will render the content whatever you see on the on the browsers that's all html content whatever uh, the underlying serv web server uh, technology or sorry the server side technology it still renders it as html so if it's a plain html or if it's a css file or if it's a js file or it's just an image it directly throws it to the browser it does not do anything over there but the second case now let's assume second case the second case is now stand the .php file okay this time the file is .php file so what it does what it does it does this thing let's see now this case browser server okay so so let's see all right now <clears throat> this is my browser now the case is this time i request for a php file now i request for a php file okay now i request for a php file what happens it goes to the i mean i'm i'm not uh, writing the dns again assuming the website is cached it goes to the server so this is server and in the server let's assume this to be our web server i'll say apache in this case okay apache is a web server if you want to learn more about apache just google apache and you'll find a lot of information which is not required for us canless until you know we go to that level where we start installing things yeah i feel uh, this is important but as as of now let's concentrate on php so what happens is the web server okay the web server is then uh, requested like okay hey this guy is asking for some file now this time is dot php all right now this time it's dot php it says okay fine so dot php now what should happen so php file is not readily read by the browser however it has to be converted into html what are the content in there so php is just a business logic over there so i say php is just a business logic so business logic is something which acts as a bridge between presentation and data access layer right so now this is php file so typically what what does a php file has PHP, php file has just some logic which is used to connect this html and database okay so now php php file is interpreted by Z. so now it says okay what it does is okay now this guy is requesting some php file so convert that php into 
into HTML.